If you are having coffee with me, I'd welcome you to my tangle of words and offer you a date. At least I think they're dates. Their fruits picked from the queen palm tree outside. Believe it or not, I've lived my life oblivious to the fact that these bright orange fruit are edible and that they're a variety of dates. I only realized that when a visitor was ecstatic to find the queen palm tree fruit was ripe and ready for picking. I helped them gather the fruit while wondering if they were edible. God offered a bite to taste. I felt like a descendant of Adam being offered the forbidden fruit. I didn't suddenly become wise to the ways of the world, nor did I die as evidenced by my still being alive to give you the update on the date. Unless, of course, new age ghosts are capable of blogging. If you're having coffee with me, I'll tell you that I took the liberty of googling the so-called fruit from the so-called palm tree. And that is how I came to know that it is a queen palm, a species of the cigrus, also known as giriba palm or cocos palm. And yes, the fruit is audible. Edible. Fun fact, you can ferment the fruit into a fruity alcoholic beverage. Why did I learn the school fact during lockdown when sale of liquor was banned? Still, still, here we are. If you're having coffee with me, I'll tell you that speaking of dates, what is your preferred date format? DD slash MM slash YYY or MM DD why 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 where d is day and m is month and y is year you can have your reasons for your default date format but i personally think that people who prefer month the month month date format are vampires because they don't like the day also i mean doesn't it just make structural sense to start with the day month then year in a sequential progression. Why my current fascination with dates, dates, and not dates, dates? That's because I had an interesting conversation about when one should start, should stop wishing people happy new year, and I got this date as the answer: zero one zero two. Was this one February or two January? That is the question. If you're having coffee with me, I'll tell you that our president has taken his annual leave with effect from 1301 to 0502 and the country is in the capable hands of the vice president. First order of business was to extend lockdown by another two weeks, though to be honest, the lockdown regulations exist on paper and on the ground really just vibes. Aside from schools not opening, everything else seems to be business as usual, except when the cops show up. If you're having coffee with me, I'll tell you that football soccer fever has gripped the continent as all eyes are on the Afghan tournament. I'm not a fan of soccer, but one does feel a certain contagious thrill when one's national team has qualified into the Africa Cup of Nations. Equally, when you find yourself drawn into the excitement, if you support the Zimbabwe national team, known as the Warriors, then you'll find yourself equally sucked back into disappointment and agree with someone who mumbles next to you, why do we support the Warriors when all they do is Warriors? The Warriors will be returning to Zimbabwe having been eliminated from the group stage of AFCON after losing 1-0 to both Senegal and Malawi. And that is that. Although they have an upcoming game with Guinea, win or lose, they're still out of the tournament. Well, at least they made it that far. If you're having coffee with me, I'll tell you that AFCON has had its beautiful moments, but not without its drama too. For example, the match which almost resulted in violence when the referee blew the whistle at the 80 84th minute and then after realizing his mis mistake, resumed the game and still proceeded to end the game in the 89th minute. Some people joked about how if we had had that referee in our match against Senegal, perhaps the match would have ended in a draw as the penalty goal had been scored in the 94th minute. 
if you're having coffee with me, I'll tell you that load shedding is back again. Apparently, during the first of period, the power utility company had shelved their system maintenance to minimize power outages. Now that they have resumed what it is they do again, electricity has become an elusive lover who is never home. Oh, by the by, with effect from 13.01.22, Nigeria finally ended its Twitter ban. The Nigerian government suspended Twitter on June 4, 2021, after it removed a post from their president that threatened to punish regional successionists. Telecom, telecoms companies subsequently blocked access to users in Nigeria. Through the marvel of VPNs, Nigerians on Twitter had managed to stay on Twitter on the Twitter microblogging site. What's been going on in your neck of the woods?